Um, I'm seeing some people as well. They, they say like getting lost down a rabbit hole. And I feel for some of you, it's like you're doing job hunting and then you click on a link and like three other jobs pop up and then you click on those links and then your hours are wasted mainly because you're not really applying for anything you're just getting distracted one link leads to another and it's like getting yourself down a rabbit hole it's good to explore your options but at the same time if something strikes you right off the bat apply for it okay so don't just save it and say, okay, I'm going to apply for it another day. So you have a systematic way of doing things, but I feel like it's been tried and it's been done in the past and it wasn't very effective. So maybe the best thing to do is tackle them one at a time head on rather than waiting for them to stack up. Okay. And um, I feel like it's going to bear fruit. If you take, you know, that type of an approach towards it, I feel like it's going to work out better for you, okay? That way you're not too um, jaded and bored with the whole job hunting process, okay? And then others, um, I feel like, you know, kind of like living out your life through social media, looking at what other people are doing, connecting via social media with people, but not really putting the effort to um, see people in real life. And I feel like some of you are hesitant about reaching out, you know, like fears of rejection and things like that. So you're kind of looking at what other people are doing, your friends, coworkers, colleagues, family members too. But you're not really taking that step to really engage with them in real life. And, you know, be very careful as well with social media. I feel like a lot of time can be wasted. And there's this idea about, you know, living out our, it's, it's almost like, living out our fantasies, living out this um, I ideal life. It's a scripted life and it's not real. So just, you know, try to wean yourself away from that. I feel it's going to be very helpful. And then I'm also sensing as well, um, you know, when it comes to family members, I feel like a lot of the times um, it, it's, it's a little bit of a mixed message here. I'm sensing that for some of you, it feels like, okay, my family's here. They're all here in this area. I want to move somewhere else. But if I go that route, I'm going to be away from them in case they need me or in case, you know, anything happens to me and I need them. And I feel like that type of mentality has really held you back from taking, you know, a job offer that might be far away from um, stopping you from, you know, moving in an area to an area that's better for you or it's really preventing you from making decisions because you have to take into account family members and it could be, you know, your own family unit if you're married and you have children and that's fine. You have to make these decisions, but I feel like somebody else is always overriding your decisions or you don't really have as much input or as much uh, sway as to where the family moves. So I feel like you're, you might be at the whims of somebody else. And then for others, if it's not like, you know, your immediate family, it's just like you want to be close to family. But I feel like last month, the realization has come in for many of you that everyone is, you know, off living their own life. And I need to also take initiative and live my own life. So I do sense that, you know, last month the realization comes through family. They're going to be there for you no matter what, but um, kind of like placing these expectations. I want to be here close to them. I feel like that's more of a security blanket from your end rather than something that is, you know, really going to help you kind of flourish and thrive and just make the most out of your life and grab new opportunities when they come in, okay? So that energy, once again, it's a major period of reassessment that I feel many of you are going through. And I also feel as well this element about, you know, where do I fit in? Uh, where do I fit in with my social uh, group? Where do I fit in with my friends? Where do I fit in with my family? Where do I fit in at work? It's this sense of emotional and also social displacement, I feel, for many of you. And it can feel really uncomfortable because this is the first time that you've had to go through this process where you're looking at yourself 
and you're trying to figure out like where do I fit in in this greater scheme of things or in this grouping or amongst the other people and it's not something that you've been you've had to worry about it's not something that you've had to look very long and hard at and I feel like last month that that concept kind of came bubbling to the surface and then this is the month where we might realize that some things that we thought were important are not really important anymore and we also take on a sense of what do I need to do so that I can find like-minded people so that I am in a place where it feels comfortable where I'm not at the whims and at the mercy of other people okay so having said that let's go into your reading here um, let me talk first of all about this so I usually look at the center card if the message is very prominent okay so what we have here is a situation where we are not really able to see eye to eye with another person so the six of cups this is a very very um, it's like a very innocent childlike type of an energy where we care about another person where we almost feel like a situation could be faded or could be very very karmic you have a person in your life and this is showing up here as the king of pentacles this is an earth sign so taurus virgo or capricorn this is somebody who is usually like the pillar of strength the, the pillar of stability and um, i also feel like in a way they have great expertise they give great advice they're someone who's very very grounded a little bit materialistic a little bit too practical and kind of boring okay so they're a little bit more regimented but everything that they have done the person that they are today is an accumulation of you know knowledge expertise so I feel like they give very very good advice and they're gonna tell you things about yourself or they're gonna tell you to do certain things that you might not want to hear and the way that they do it it's almost like a disciplinarian authority figure in your life in some capacity and shaking off the advice from this person tends to be a little bit difficult so for some of you I feel honestly this is a family member and uh, this is usually you know the the institution of uh, family marriage stability and I feel like they're the one that's keeping everything, they're the foundation, they're the ones that are keeping things intact. And I feel like for some of you, you, you might have a little bit of resentment towards this person, mainly because you feel like they're a stick in the mud. Um, mainly because you feel like, you know, they're not very fun, not very exciting. They do things so much by the book that it can feel like they're a Debbie Downer, but they're very practical and there are very positive qualities that you admire in this person. And I also feel like, you know, they're um, financially very, very um, practical. They're quite accomplished in their field. A lot of people look up to them. A lot of people respect them. And I also feel this element about you not feeling like you're strong in their presence. It's almost like, inadvertently they might criticize you or they might say things that you've been sweeping under the rug and so it's really hard to you know feel propped up in, or inspired or even feel like that boost of self-confidence with this person and so I feel like family members for some of you relationship partner for others of you and I'm also sensing as well um, honestly I feel children so it's it's almost like you might have children and this person might be a child of yours and you know you're the parent and they're the child but it almost feels like the the, the roles the responsibilities are reversed because they're coming into their own and they're doing things that are drastically different from the way that you would do things and as a result of it there's constantly this you know conflict of interest creative differences, not seeing eye to eye, feeling like this person is a little bit of a Debbie Downer in your life and feeling like I wouldn't do what that other person does or I wouldn't do it that way, I do it another way. But you know, I, I feel like some of you really admire this person and 
a big part of you, honestly, I feel like you wish you had their strength. You wish you had their technical expertise. You do look up to them and you wish that you could be more organized, more systematic, more, I want to say like emotionally grounded the way that they are. Okay. So I do feel kind of like this push and pull energy here. On the one hand, you really admire this person and you, you like them. But on the other hand, you're, there's, there's a lot of creative differences. And I feel like a lot of the times Sagittarius with you, it's like, I, I feel like it needs to be all or nothing. When you really like somebody, you put them on a pedestal and then, you know, you, you hype up everything that they do. And so you can find yourself kind of like at a inner conflict within yourself when there are clearly some things that you really admire and there's clearly some things that you kind of resent about this person. And when you find yourself at that junction, it can feel very conflicting. Do I hate this person or do I like this person? And my advice here is take the good with the bad because, you know, Everyone has faults. Everyone has, you know, great attributes, but everyone has faults. So you don't have to justify in your mind, do I hate this person or do I like this person? I feel like they're solid. They've always been very dependable. They're very practical and they will be there for you. So those are the qualities that you admire. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, okay? And just know that we can't all be infallible all the time, okay? So if you accept that, I feel like it's gonna make it a little bit easier when you're dealing with this person. And I also feel like they want the best for you. They see what you're doing. Sometimes they might, you know, um, disapprove and their body language, their demeanor might show that they're might show their disapproval, but I feel like there's still a lot of strength here and there's still a lot of support here. And so you don't have to, I, I guess like you don't have to take this so personally. Okay. So having said that, let's go into the other cards here. I mentioned for you guys, a lot of waiting. So this is the temperance card and this is your card right here. This is you feeling kind of like, I need to do this, I need to do that, and waiting on decisions. So they're saying, don't rush the process, okay? Go through the process, see what you can realistically take care of, of on your own, and see where you're wasting your time and scattering your energy and feeling frustrated or feeling anxious, okay? So the anxiousness, the frustration, I do sense it is gonna creep in for this month, and I do feel as well, if you are in a position where you have a lot that you need to get done and every step of the way you have to consult somebody, you have to, you know, see this person, get this paperwork, see another person, get a second opinion, driving around possibly. And I mentioned um, feeling lost, driving around in a new area, going to different stores, having to rely on technology in order to get around and then I also feel like somebody giving you the runaround. They're telling you, no, the other person told you the wrong thing. You have to go back to this official and you have to get this paper signed. So I do see this energy here about you running around, having to get things authorized, get things approved. Um, for some of you, this could be medical, such as getting your medical records, getting a copy of it, getting a second opinion or getting a third opinion, getting a printout of medical records, getting a printout as well when it comes to like work authorization, work verification, uh, even printing out your resumes, faxing things over. So I feel like there are a lot of things that I, I want to say things that you need to get done, things that everybody needs to get done, but it can be very frustrating because it seems like you're not getting a clear answer. It seems like there are some mixed messages or some mixed signals in the works, and it's also Mercury in retrograde. So I feel like this process can take a little bit longer. It can destabilize you. So when you're cons consulting somebody, just make sure that you reiterate what they say Make sure that, you know, everybody's on the same page so that you understand clearly what they tell you that you need to do. Repeat it after them and just make sure that you have that 
you, you have that, that verification because I in the process of running around, it can feel very frustrating. So you have to exercise patience. You have to exercise fortitude. You need to, you know, not lose your temper. And you need to also know like, okay, maybe the wires are crossed and I didn't hear them correctly. And so if somebody's, you know, coming in telling you, oh, sorry, you need to have this additional piece of information or this additional form, don't get mad, okay? Just say, okay, I'll take care of it another day. Um, I do feel there's a lot of, you know, running around back and forth. Possibly if you're in a new location or in a location that you're not very familiar with, you might get lost. Make sure your phone is charged. Make sure that you have, you know, GPS. Make sure that you know where you're going, okay, and know exactly what you're doing because I do feel some mixed signals here and it can get frustrating. For others, I feel like it's in a work environment, okay, and this is like communication with coworkers, uh, working collaboratively with another person, uh, working under the mandates of somebody else. They're giving you kind of like the um, authorization or they're giving you the go ahead or the green light to do something. But every step of the way, it feels like you have to double check or triple check with them to make sure you're doing the right thing. And I feel like that process can be a little bit frustrating as well because you are you pride yourself uh, on your independence, your ability to do things and to come and go as you please and not have somebody, you know, constantly checking up on your progress. But I feel some of you might be in a training environment. You're learning new skills, you're learning new things. And I feel like it can feel a little bit like it's a new arena for some of you and it can feel a little bit uncomfortable because I'm sensing that this is not some a place that you've been before or this is not the type of work environment that you've been in in the past and so the type of knowledge the type of information and the type of communication um, it's very different it's very formal is what I'm sensing and it can feel very very detached very very impersonal and very formal and professional which is good um, and I also feel like because of that people aren't really they're a little bit like this where they're a little bit stern and strict and straightforward and just you know detach and so you're not really sure do they like me am I doing everything right so I feel like those questions you know those uh, um, questions of self-doubt will start to creep into the picture but this is a very good card that indicates you're doing your work steadfastly and it's going to be fine, okay? And so they're checking your progress mainly because they want it done right and they want it done a specific way. So don't get offended and just go with the flow, okay? It's better to do it right the first time than, you know, having to go back to it and then try to fix it. And so I do feel uh, with this magician card, this is basically um, your work is going to be scrutinized. It's going to be monitored. It's going to be, you know, overseen by other people. So you might not have the, um, the ability to inject your own, you know, individuality, your own creative flair into it. And you might not be able to do it the way that you want. You're going to be under somebody else's mandates and they're going to want you to do it by the book by the book there's no room for creativity there's no room for thinking outside the box there's no room for you know um, taking the liberties to to you know inject your own way of doing or your own individuality into it so everything is very you know straightforward um, cookie cutter everything is just very very much policy and rules and regulations and everything is heavily enforced so I feel like the environment can feel a little bit restrictive. I do sense that it's going to clear itself up and I feel like it, the energy is going to alleviate by the January time frame. But in the meantime, I feel like you're meant to be here to figure out how to work things from the bottom up, how to do things from scratch so that you can have a more practical, a better foundation for the work that you do. Okay. So it is actually um, going to be good for you. It's going to be good in the long run in the process of dealing with this. It might not feel like that, but I feel like either way, 
the month of December is not going to be as frustrating as last month. Last month, there was a lot of waiting. There was a lot of like reassessment as well. And I mentioned, you know, people will push your buttons and people that you didn't anticipate last month, they really push your buttons and they behaved in a way that was unexpected. And so coming into the month of December, all of those elements are gone. People here, they're very, very predictable. If they don't like something, they're going to say it. So at least they're very straightforward about what they want, what they expect from you. And they're going to be very straightforward about whether or not you're meeting them halfway, whether or not you're able to, you know, whether or not you're able to like produce whatever it is that they want. Okay. So they're going to be straightforward. They're going to be, they're going to level with you and they're going to tell you, you know, your progress. Okay. I do see an element of health here. So I wonder if some people are consulting somebody especially massage therapists even if you're in that profession I do see an uptick when it comes to clients I also feel as well if you are self-employed there are huge elements here about wanting to take your work to the next level possibly expanding collaborating partnering up with other people or even renting a space with somebody or chipping in and renting a space with somebody so that you can achieve you know Going from the Knight of Pentacles here, where you're making stable income, to the King of Pentacles, where you want to dramatically, and you know, like, they're saying like twofold, double your income and expand your business and even collaborating with other people so that you have a consistent client base, okay? So a lot of good things are actually happening for you guys, but I feel like the whole process is you need to show other people how responsible you are, how practical you are, not just how smart you are, how capable you are. So are you all talk or do you have the knowledge, the skills and the expertise and also the practical thinking, problem solving to back it up? So I feel like this is the month where we have to really work on having other people trust us, being very consistent with what we say and, and, and also what we deliver are we able to deliver on what we say or what we promise or are we just talking just to talk? OK, so there's that element coming in. I do feel overall what we have as well is this is a card about illusions, illusions of grandeur, things that we feel like, oh, I can, you know, go in so many ways with this. I feel like all of these illusions are going to be melted down and whatever has been tried and true, whatever has been around is really going to stick. And so you might have some ideas that might not pass that common sense test or some other people might come in and they're telling you, yes, these ideas are great, but they're not really grounded. It's hard to implement them. So they're going to help you kind of refine, change, and tweak your idea so that it can be implemented in a more stable way in the future, okay? Um, family will be a major source of strength for you guys for this month. There is going to be love. There is going to be reciprocity. There is going to be that sense of, I didn't think I belong. I didn't think I, they cared, but they do care about me. So I feel like that is going to be one of the major saving grace for you guys for this month, because I feel like that's really going to help build up your self-esteem. And I feel like with that unconditional love and support here, they're the rock or the anchor in your life. And they're going to be around uh, there. Some of you, you have some very, very opinionated family members. They're strict they can be very, very harsh in their judgment, but I feel like they're good people. They're law abiding, straight laced, very practical, pragmatic people, not too much of the emotional kind. And so when they talk, you might feel like, whoa, you're being a little bit too harsh, but I feel like they're good people in general. So take it with a grain of salt and, you know, don't take a defensive stance and especially don't take things too personally. OK, because I do feel despite it all, there's a lot of love here coming from family members and there's a lot of support. But I feel like they might look at you as if they want you to be a lot more like them, a lot more practical, pragmatic and just, you know, uh, don't let your fantasies run away with you because I feel like they see you as an an, as an idealist and they feel like they have to play that disciplinarian role with you because they feel you're not as grounded, okay?